Hello, today we're going to talk about training specifically to what you're trying to achieve. And there's two main variables that you can manipulate in order to achieve that. We're just going to look at volume and intensity. So extreme high volume would be steady state cardio, running or on a, on a bike or whatever for a long period of time where you're performing a lot of overall work. The amount of work you're doing is high because the intensity is relatively low it has to be in order for you to perform that amount of work you're teaching your body to be efficient so to produce as much work as possible for as little energy expenditure as possible and to use the slower twitch fibers in your body to be efficient over a long period of time if you're training with high volume great if you're trying to become an endurance athlete or you want to run a marathon or you want to do something that involves you being efficient over a long period of time at doing a lot of work the other end of the scale we're looking at intensity and the highest intensity is maximal activity over a short period of time so the extreme end would be performing a, a one repetition of an exercise a squat for example but doing the most amount of weight possible for one repetition so you're completely maxing out over a period of like one second maybe that obviously the work is low but the intensity is as high as possible so the metabolic stress is really high but the amount of work done is relatively low these effectively are the opposites so if you're looking to become strong and powerful and be able to lift as much as possible you're looking at this end doing heavy heavy you know maximal activity with long rest so the work done is relatively is very low but the intensity is very high if you want to be efficient at doing something over a long period of time you want your work to be very high but the intensity of to be relatively low now clearly they're the extremes most people fall somewhere in the middle the standard one that people like to exercise for is their body composition and most people are looking to be a little bit leaner and possibly a little bit more muscular in some ways the you, the way you can train for this is very similar because you're looking for the right balance between volume and intensity so you want your volume to be certainly if you're trying to lose you're mobilizing fat stores to try and lean out to become leaner which is what most people I speak to in the gym are looking for you want your volume to be quite high because you do want to expend a lot of energy however you don't want to become efficient and you want the metabolic stress to be high as such that your metabolism will be elevated after you've finished your exercise and you're trying to target faster twitch fibers because they're not as efficient so what you're looking to do is have a relatively high intensity you're probably looking at something where if you perform it 10 12 15 times and that is very difficult but that, but you don't want to go up to sort of 20 30 times because then you're teaching yourself to be efficient again so you're looking for metabolic stress plus a lot of work if you're trying to become leaner also the more compound the better for that because the amount of work done is more you're able to do more work with compound exercises you can deadlift or squat a lot more than you can bicep curl so you can do more work and the more common exercises require more muscles, bigger muscles, which need more energy to work. So you have to compound exercises, relatively high intensity, but as much volume as you can get in as possible. So maybe 30, 40 sets over an hour, but working at a weight that maybe 8, 10, 12, 15 repetitions is difficult. And that is absolutely ideal for losing weight the same way to go would be with sprints something like that like where you do you do something like 20 seconds of all out running then you have yourself a minute rest and you have 20 that produces a similar metabolic response from your body than with lifting weight as well if you're looking to lose fat working at high intensity but trying to balance that with a relatively high volume is just what you're after if you just want to be maximally stronger you need to be lifting heavy weight with long rest periods to allow your adenosine triphosphate and this sort of thing to resynthesize so you're looking for high weight low work 
high intensity. If you want to be efficient in endurance, you need to have high work, low intensity. If you're looking to lose weight to become leaner, you need to find the right balance between relatively high intensity and relatively high volume. Hope that helps. See you next time.